I remember as a very young kid suffering from anxiety, overthinking. I was an extremely shy kid and I remember that really causing me almost trauma. I couldn't, couldn't look at someone in the eye and have a conversation. I was afraid of being around anyone I didn't know because I was worried about what people would think of me and it really kept going throughout my whole adolescence. The gravity of the situation wasn't lost on Nick Brax, the 20-year-old ignoring the glare of the cameras as he left court a convicted drink driver. I felt pathetic. I felt like I had nothing to offer the world. A lot of people probably think that it's a bit strange that I've suffered depression, I guess, coming from opportunity, coming from a prominent family, uh, having opportunities in the media and business. Having a great group of people around me, being young, fit, healthy. But really, I think anyone suffering depression would understand that that doesn't have a lot to do with it. And you could have everything, you could have nothing. It's not about external factors, it's about what, what's in your own head. What do you want to keep your mouth shut? Can't pull me off. After the first couple of talks at schools, I had kids running up to me saying that uh, if it wasn't for me delivering that message, they wouldn't have gone and sought help. That was a pretty amazing thing to hear and really touched me and gave me a, a passion to want to share this message on a broader scale. And I started talking in companies. I would have executives coming up to me and saying how much value they got out of these messages that I was delivering. What I very quickly learnt was that mental health does not discriminate. It doesn't matter what your age is, it doesn't matter what your status is, it doesn't matter how much money you have. It affects everyone.